everything we love about America, all the freedoms our forefathers fought for, all of it is under attack by Barack Obama. But the media won't tell you that or show you the story you're about to see. So you've got to watch this, and your friends and family members and fellow Americans do too. So pass this story along, then join the NRA, upgrade your membership, or donate. Let's all defend our freedoms this year. Thank you. This plague is spreading everywhere. People are assassinated, placed in trunks, left with banners indicating that this is what happens to individuals who are seeking to stop the cartels. We just do what needs to be done. The cartels have no regard for human life, ours or the Mexican citizens. This violence, it's not just coming here, it is here. It's a deadly turf war. Rival Mexican drug cartels battling for control of smuggling routes, power, and money. But still, President Obama goes to Mexico apologizing for our firearm freedoms. This war is being waged with guns purchased not here, but in the United States, many from gun shops that line our shared border. It's a bunch of crap, a bunch of bull. The president in, in our own government is our enemy. We're in a war, and we need to deal with it that way. And the president, supported by many in Congress, who gave a standing ovation to President Calderon after he blamed our constitutional rights for the drug violence and corruption in Mexico, fueled by his own government. To understand how important it is for us that you enforce current laws and consider restating the assault weapons ban. Go to hell. Who are they to tell me in America what to do? It is my God-given right to own a gun. So we don't care about your laws here. We can get weapons anywhere. We get weapons from Honduras and El Salvador. Majority of the weapons are not coming from the U.S. Three quarters of the, the weapons that the cartel gets is supplied by the military. Corruption in Mexico is not a problem. It's an institution. It's a business for the government, for the military, and for the cartels. Why would you stop the business when it's working so well? The worst of their society coming here to America to prey upon our innocent citizens. And this isn't a problem. The federal government has abandoned us. Do I think the border is secure? Hell no. We've been driving down this border road here for about 10 miles. Have you seen a border patrol agent yet? The border patrol is not on the border. I know that border, I think, as well as, as anyone. We turn on the TV and Janet Napolitano says... It is as secure now as it has uh, ever been. My, my and question. Course, Senator, please. In my opinion, it's borderline treason. The traffic through here, unstoppable. The agents, we don't have enough. Oh, absolutely. I carry a gun everywhere I go. We're looking at human smuggling, drugs, terrorists coming across our property. From Syria from Iran, from Turkey, from China. My wife comes home from the grocery store and a woman's head is in the front yard. Is this America or is this Iraq? National security should not be a political game. And these jokers make it just that. And for us and my family, our safe ha haven has been destroyed. And that is unforgivable. And I don't know how this government is ever gonna give that back to me. To slap in the face of the citizens of this great country of ours, to slap in the face the people that have fought for this flag that we represent. I fear for my grandchildren what they are going to be left with. It's our right to being stripped on a day-to-day -day basis. Angry, you betcha. Surprised, no. No president who has the best interest of this nation as a nation as it was created would ever, ever do something like this. These guys ought to be criminally tried for what they're doing to this nation. Everything we love about America, all the freedoms our forefathers fought for, all of it is under attack by Barack Obama. So pass this story along, then join the NRA, upgrade your membership, or donate. Let's all defend our freedoms this year. Thank you. <laughs>